Do you remember the saying, sticks and stones will break my bones, but names will never hurt me? Is there any truth to that statement? No, it's a total lie. Names do hurt, words do hurt. The Bible says that words have power. Words that bring positive things into our lives are called blessings. Words that bring negative things are called curses. Derek Prince taught that a blessing or a curse is a word spoken with spiritual authority that sets in motion spiritual activity. Blessings and curses release activity in the invisible spirit realm. They influence our lives whether we are aware of them or not. So what is the most dangerous spiritual weapon on the planet? This weapon can be used for great good or destructive evil. It can change the course of your life and the destiny of a nation. Here it is. It may look small and innocent, but it is the most untamed, dangerous, and wild part of a human. It's dangerous because it releases words, and words have spirit power. When I worked in the OR, we removed a lot of tonsils, and they only caused sore throats. The tongue can destroy a person or a nation, and doctors never touch it. When we release blessings or curses with our tongues, our words look like this. Those words are addressed packages that we release into the spirit realm. They actually carry invisible spiritual power to bring good or bad things into another person's life. The Bible frequently reminds us of the power of blessings and curses to influence people. When you are living with blessings, you experience hope, optimism, peace, and a sense of God's presence in everything you do. Blessings release the power of God into your life. They fill your mind with God's positive thoughts about you, your situation, and your future. Blessings give you the power to carry out God's will in any situation. When you're living under a curse, you have a constant sense of struggle against circumstances that always seem to work against you. You feel blocked from reaching your potential or achieving success. Curses can act like a canopy over our heads to block blessings, or they can release the power of darkness to attack us. The attack often takes the form of intense temptation to sin, which then lures us into a trap of bondage. Where do blessings and curses come from? The Bible says there are three sources. First, if you obey God, blessings will automatically flow into your life. In Deuteronomy 28, there's a long list of blessings that we can receive for obedience. If you disobey God, curses are automatically released into your life. The same chapter has a long list of bad things that happen when we disobey. Second, you can receive a blessing or curse from the words of another person. The effect of a person's words to bless or curse you depends on what spiritual authority that person has in your life. The greater their authority, the greater is the effect of, your, of their words. A father, for example, has greater spiritual authority than a co-worker to bless or curse. We must be careful with our words. Remember, they are address packages that land on people to bring good or bad things into their lives. The third source is ourselves. We can bless or curse ourselves by the words we use. We need to be careful the way we speak to ourselves. So how can we escape from the curses and live in blessings? The news is all good. In Galatians 3.13, it says, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. Through his death on the cross, Jesus took every curse from us so we could inherit all the blessings that come from being his children. He became a curse so we could receive a blessing. Your freedom has been paid for. You can come out from under the curses and into blessings. All you have to do is invite Jesus into your heart and accept his sacrifice for your freedom. Will you do that today? Remember, God wants you to be emotionally free. I'm Grant Mullen.